Project Infinity X is back with another new update. This time it's obviously based on QPR1 because previously, the previous month, we got the latest update of QPR1 having some new UI changes, Material Expressive UI and so on. And this is the another update which is now updated to the latest one of January security update. Or you can say 2026 first update of this year of this custom room. Although it does not have any major changes with this new one, uh, but yes, it's updated. So just wanted to let you know. What are the things or which are the things already a part of Project Infinity X? Let me just show you. First of all, the main thing you will notice the settings UI. Uh, that is a colorful settings UI in this case, as compared to many other custom rooms, it looks good. And if you move on to this infinity suit, which has a lot of customizations, you can go and explore that further. Some of the things I like, like this blur wallpaper, uh, this is enabled in the customization section. I'll talk about that later on. The default launcher has a lot of features for you. A lot of customizations are here in the default launcher. App drawer customizations are there, home screen customization. You can even customize at a glance widget, which is enabled in this case by default. But if you don't like it, you can disable that. It has one plus style clock and a lot more things. Many good things are already implemented in this case. And also because it's the latest one. So the recent span has been updated. I guess I missed that in the previous update. So just wanted to let you know. What about the quick settings panel? This is the real Android 16 QPR1 quick settings panel. When we you were seeing the previous update, with the, which was based on QPR0, or you can say pre-QPR, that was a modified version, but this one is actual real. So blur has been enabled. One more thing I missed in my previous video is reg regarding this quick settings panel, or you can say this kind of UI. This is called, uh, uh, you can say, this is a combined quick settings panel. One thing, one side is for the notification panel, one side for the quick setting tiles. Looks interesting, or you can say tablet mode. Other than else, we have wallpaper customizations, as I just told you at the starting of the video. Settings UI, you can customize that. You have the option to customize icon style also. Icon shape, the preview UI has been already one of the best looking so far from a long time now. If you move on to fonts customization, I just found that it has the insane number of fonts customization, a lot of fonts available there. Some things are missing. For example, you cannot download the fonts from GitHub. You cannot add your custom fonts that might be added later on. But in this update, it's not there. The preview UI is already good, as I just told you. And if you move on to miscellaneous options, you will find most of the security bypass features are present in this case. For example, no storage restrict, application downgrade, option for pocket detection, option for hiding the screen capture status, ignore windows secure flags, all of these things are already part of this one. And also spoofing options, a lot of spoofing options are available. It also has an option for keybox XML. So if you have any working keybox available, which you can download for free, and I made a video already on that one, how you can find out the keybox for your device, and you can pass strong integrity very easily. Those things are kind of temporary. So if something is not working for you right now, that doesn't mean it is not working. It might work later on. So yes, these, this was about the quick review of the latest update, which is now based on QPR1 January security update. Go and check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.